Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Celtics Basketball. I'm here to talk about Evan Fournier. He had his first minutes with the Celtics tonight uh, against the Pelicans, and I want to evaluate how he did on the offensive end, on the defensive end. Let's see what he was able to do here, starting off with the, the nipple rub, the little chest rub down, right? The good luck touch. Yeah, that's right. Give it a little touch. Ready to go. Let's play basketball. All right. Here we go. We're going to see a pattern here. He's in the paint. Celtics are going to do a lot of this in this game, and it's not something that they usually do a lot of. Uh, Time Lord's going to set the down screen here to free up Fournier, say so he can get a nice three-point shot here at the top of the key. This is his first shot as a Celtic. Should be it. Ooh, tough. Tough one. Tough to miss your first shot, but that's okay. We've got a lot of game left. Okay, let's talk defense. I love this. You see him. You see how he drifts into the paint? It's because he recognizes there's nobody here because Rob is focused on the uh, pick out at the elbow. So he's going to drift off his man and cover in the paint. And I want you to keep watching what he does. Boom. He's going to pick up Steven Adams. So Steven Adams starts drifting into the paint and he's going to pick him up. And this is big. Because Steven Adams, if Fournier doesn't recognize this and is still standing here waiting for his man, has an easy open shot in the paint, right? This is a good heads-up defensive positioning. And then he's going to ball deny, right? Box him out. Keep him from getting the ball. Ball deny, ball deny, ball deny. And then here, where the play is actually happening, right? On the ball. Kemba gets a little poke. And it leads to a turnover. Ran out of clock, right? That's good heads up defense. Here we go. Fournier here in the corner, running into the screen. Boom, pick, leaves Marcus open. Right play there by Mo. good on Mo. And you can see, we're looking at Marcus. We're focused on Marcus, so Fournier is able to drift away, drift away, get a little bit open here. Good recovery, but Fournier inside step because the uh, defender over pursues and takes a step too far as he uh, uh, tries to recover. So Fournier is going to drive up and oh. <laughs> oh. What a heartbreaker. Can you imagine? Put yourself in the shoes of this man right now. It's the first game back at the Garden for fans. It's his first game as a Celtic. He still hasn't made his first bucket. He's trying to get it to fall. And that, that is what happens. Oh, that has to kill him. He's going to be thinking about that shot all night. But we're going to keep giving him the ball. Keep giving him the ball. Don't give up on the man. 19 points per game, right? Boom. Let's just back this up. Just a hair. Smart is going to call this play. He's going to come here and set the, set the down again. Just so that the defender can't recover. He's even going to point to Tatum and call him out and say, Hey, give Fournier the ball. He's wide open down here. Once I set this, this screen for him, right? There's no way... This is going to be wide open. Here he comes. Sets it. Pass. Shot. <laughs> Overshooting it. He's shooting it too hard, too. It makes you wonder if he's just so jacked playing in this game that just he's putting a little too much mustard on it. Maybe he's too rested from the fake COVID positive. I don't know. Too much rest. But here we go. Okay. For every bad shot, there's a great defensive play. Here he comes. Pelicans on a fast break. And he's just going to get the steal here. This is great. Boink! Pokes it out. Grabs the ball. That's a great play. And it's the end of the half, so he has to jack it up. But, you know, still, the defensive stop. Gotta love that, right? Every time he has a, a, a bad shot and he has a bad miss, he bricks it, he comes back with a good defensive play. Every time he has a good defensive play, he comes back with a bad miss on offense. So let's see and enter one of those. Here we go. Setting the pick for Marcus, coming around, frees himself up a little bit. Nice play by Korn, who's my new favorite player. 
And here we go. This is the one. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Well, like we said, good, bad offensive play. Good defense. Here he is. He's going to come around and he's going to jump on the ball and slap it around with two hands like a cat trying to catch a laser on the floor. Here we go. Lasers in Zion's hands. Bop. Got it. And then he's going to tip it. Great tip. Right? That's good hustle play. Comes in, strips Zion, which, by the way, Zion's been amazing lately, so any good play you can make on him is fantastic. And then tips the ball out. Good play. And then, you know, we're back on offense. Oh! Jumps in the passing lane. Heads up. Look. Hey, just a second. Look. Oh. There it is. There it is. Eyes on ball, right? He's got this steal right here. He knows he's got it. This is a bad pass. He hops right in the passing lane. He sees it. He reads it correctly. Boop. And this has to be it. Oh, <laughs> oh brutal. It's brutal. This is it. Great defensive play. And then just heartbreak on the other end. Thank goodness PP's here to clean it up and make it feel not as embarrassing. This is really rough. I have to imagine Fournier 0 for 10. You have to imagine that this is not what every game is going to be like for him. I mean, I really hope for his sake, not even for my sake as a fan of the Celtics, but for his sake, I really hope this is not what every game looks like for him. I hope he finds the bottom of the basket soon. Say he can get back on track because it is 0 for 10 and it's hard to ignore that part of the stat line. But it's also hard to ignore the two steals and the two blocks, right? And and like the good plays that we just saw, right? He's He is definitely making good plays on the defensive end. I just really need to see the offensive output and the open shots are there. He's getting the looks. He's just got to hit the shots. I can only imagine that that will come. I'm rooting for you, Fournier. I think there's good things in your future. Go Celtics.